Welcome to our Galaga tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be using Godot to create a uh, sort of a replica copy of the old Galaga. We're going to create this, uh, making a sort of a simple version of this. It's going to be simplified. It's not going to have a lot of features. But the idea is we're going to make this and get the functionality work, basics working. It'll deal with the graphics and that sort of stuff later. So what I'd like you to do first off is I'd like you to open up Godot. And from there, we're going to create a new project. I'm going to name this one Galaga. I'm going to click Galaga video. Click create folder and then click create and edit. And that's going to boot us up here into Galaga, or sorry, into Godot here. It'll take just a minute to get up. Uh, Godot, uh, if you haven't seen it before, Godot is a nice game engine that's really nice and lightweight. And it works really well for especially 2D games, but it's doing pretty good for 3D games as well. So before we go any further, a couple of things about the Godot interface here. Uh, we've got the scene dock over here on the uh, left hand side. And below that we have the file system dock. In the middle we have the main window here with a toolbar above it. And then we have the inspector, uh, inspector dock or inspector panel over here on the right hand side. I'll be referring to those later so this is just a little bit of a heads up as to where they are. Before we go any further, we want to make sure that our project remains organized. One of the really important things to do with any uh, programming project is, and especially a game design project, is to keep things organized because as you add files and as you add uh, features and resources to this, you're going to be having a lot of files and it's tricky to keep them straight. So let's start off by creating a new folder. Right click on this res here and create new folder. And we're going to name this one assets. Good. And we're going to create another one for scenes like that. There we go. So we've got those there and we're going to actually import stuff right away. So we're going to import stuff into the assets folder here. So I'm going to click on it. So that's where it's going to go. And then from there, I'm going to go and find the asset pack that I've got. Um, we can download this from Kenny.nl. I'll put a link in the description here. Uh, or if you're in my computer science class, I'll give this to you as well. So it should get, you should get a compressed or a zipped folder here. I'm going to extract all and good. So we've got our resources here. I'm going to find assets and there's the sprites and the black background. So these two things here. I'm going to go back into Godot here, open that up. And with this window here, I'm going to drag sprites and black background here over onto assets. And Godot will happily import them. And you can see they're all in here now. We've got all sorts of sprites that we can use. And our black background up PNG that we'll use a little bit later here. The other thing we need to do is we're going to create a version of this that looks similar to the old arcade version. So it's going to be uh, narrow and it's going to have a, a sort of a portrait view instead of a landscape view as we're playing this. So we're going to go set those up first. We're going to go project at the top of the project menu, then project settings. We're going to go over here to our window and we're going to set the width to 600 and the height to 800. We're going to go from there. Uh, we're going to uncheck resizable here because we don't want to be able to resize this. It'll make things look not quite right. So we're going to uncheck that and leave the rest of these the same. Should be okay. We also, we're going to be using a sort of a pixel art style for this. So we're going to go down here to rendering and textures. And we're going to look for the default texture filter and we're going to choose nearest. This makes uh, pixel art graphics look a little bit crisper and it's great for some pixel art style 2D graphics. If you're doing 3D graphics or if you're doing things that you want to be appear a bit smoother, uh, then you could use other ones. But we're going to use nearest here. So click on close and we're going to get back to our editor here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a main scene and that main scene is going to run and sort of organize and do all of the functions of our game here. It's going to sort of manage all of the things here. So to do that, I'm going to click on scenes here. I know I'm going to want my scene to appear in there. So I'm going to right click and go create new scene. I'm going to name it main scene dot TSCN and it's going to be a 2D scene here. The root type. Okay, and this is going to create here. Yeah. 
We're also going to need to make sure that this runs. This is going to be the, syst uh, the, the scene that runs when we run our game. So I'm going to right click on it here, find it in the file system, right click on it, and then set as main scene, which is third from the top there. You can see it goes blue, so that will actually run it. Uh, what we're going to do is now give it a test run, and you can see we get the splash screen, and here's our game window, which does a whole lot of nothing right now, but it does run. That's all that we needed at this point. Make sure that you save everything. Control S to save everything right now. And there we go. Take a look at our next video where we're going to start and actually create the player and go from there.